Today is May 5th and I am working in my one of my compost areas this morning and that pile right there I've been sifting. Let me come over here real quick. I've been sifting this and that's the result of what I've done so far and what I haven't used. I probably probably had three times that much but I've already put it on top of my my beds that I've already been working. So this right here needs to be sift still, but I may not finish sifting it because this right here is a, or is going to be, an above ground potato bed. And I've grown potatoes here before, um, in pine needles and in leaves and in really, really poor, poor dirt where nothing else will grow. And I just kept feeding it compost over the top of it. And they grew pretty good considering. So, this year is what I've done is I have already soaked the cardboard. So this whole section here is wet cardboard topped with about an inch or two of the unsifted compost topped with some leaves that I raked. And now I'm topping it with some um, aged pine needles that I've been working I uh, worked last year and they decompose pretty good because I put my um my boosters in it and they really really composted well so the idea is this is a kind of a divot here and I've had problems with this um ever since I made it and I didn't pay attention to the uh how I laid the logs this is actually a hugo culture bed that I think probably my first one actually and and I've been working it and working it and working it. But because it gets so much shade, that tree is gone now. So we're going to get some more sun. So I've been using it as a compost area maker. But this year I think I can plant in it. So this is going to be a an experimental um, potato bed. Just what? Three and a half feet by six feet maybe. And I'll keep working it. I'll keep adding this to it as as I need to. Leaves and compost. And, and we'll see how it does. This right here I may end up moving. There's some strawberry plants I transplanted this morning. But this right here now has more sun because of that tree. Some of you that have been around since last year remember that tree. Um, I'm going to put a, a couple of zucchini in here and see how that goes.